A crunchy Barbie dress? Sweet boots? A nutritious hat and tasty wigs? Find out how to make edible clothes for your Barbie in our new video! Mademoiselle Ratatouille came to her restaurant for a business lunch. Duh! Because it has the strongest coffee! And nobody is paying attention to how much sugar Ratatouille puts in her cup. Sieste magnifique! Chef Jessica sees her boss at the table. Well, it's the perfect opportunity to show her my invention. It's a delicious dress for a doll. Wrap wafer paper into a cone to make a doll skirt. Fasten the ends with water. Draw a layout of the top part of the dress on a piece of wafer paper. Add wafer paper straps. Make tucks at the sides. Fasten them with water so that they overlap. Attach the piece over the skirt. Add wafer paper straps. Cut out wafer petals. Cut and fasten them to add dimension. Attach the petals to the dress skirt diagonally. Mademoiselle Ratatouille doesn't understand why she's gotten a doll. Jessica presents her invention. This dress on the doll is edible. Mon de you. Mademoiselle is used to eating from a plate and not from plastic toys. There's nothing we can do but try it out. Wow! It tastes marvelous! This method of serving is so creative. Our critic loves it. She will add this fashionable dish to her menu. Meet our royal dessert. Ratatouille can't figure out where to bite this dish. Right here, this sweet crown. Melt hard candies in a microwave. Pour the melted caramel onto a silicone mat. Shape a crown with a modeling tool. Cut the plastic ring of a little jar. Attach the crown to the ring with melted caramel. Coat it with edible pearl powder. Mademoiselle Ratatouille isn't so sure about this one. Come on! Don't be afraid! Eat the crown! The beauty of it is that you can eat your dessert right off Barbie's head! Very creative! Mademoiselle Ratatouille wants to test the chef. The task is to surprise and amaze her. Take a doll in an ordinary dress and turn it into a romantic edible masterpiece. Just do it, Jess! Take icing lace to match the shade of the dress and trim it on one side. Turn the dress inside out and sew the icing lace to the bottom. Turn it right side out. Cut off a thin strip of icing lace. Sew it to the top of the dress. Put the dress onto your doll. Put the straps underneath to make a deep cut. Jessica came up with a brilliant move. Beautiful icing lace frills decorate the dress and make it romantic and edible at the same time. The crucial thing is not to get carried away and eat all the frills by yourself. Jessica is telling Mademoiselle about her new ideas. But Ratatouille has already noticed one. This Barbie sat down on a plate and is waiting for someone to taste her. Attach heart-shaped sprinkles to stud earring blanks. Use edible glue. How cute are these studs? They smell so sweet! Let's taste them! Wow! What a perfect miniature snack! And what is that? A sweet necklace comes with the earrings as a set? Roll out white fondant to make a thin layer. Cut out a necklace. Attach sugar beads and sprinkles with edible glue. Mademoiselle Ratatouille bites off a piece of Barbie sugary accessory. You really nailed it! Stylish, fashionable, and delicious! That's amazing! Jessica presents her new dessert, a variety of sweet Barbie hairstyles. Melt three ounces of marshmallows in a microwave. Put the mass onto a silicone mat. Put in three ounces of powdered sugar and the same amount of cornstarch. Mix sweet dough. Divide it into three parts. 
add yellow food coloring to the first part. And a drop of brown. Shape a wig to fit a doll's head. Bend the edges and shape waves. Mark the part and scrape the wig to make it textured. Jessica is proud of her invention. She invites Mademoiselle to taste the pink doll wig. Add pink food coloring to the second part. Shape a bob haircut on a doll. Score the part and the bangs. Add strands of hair with a thin modeling tool. And if you don't like a bob, you can quickly grow a red ponytail. Color the third part orange. Shape a wig with a ponytail. Separate a fringe, add a part and make it textured. Use edible glue to attach sprinkles as a hair tie. Mademoiselle Ratatouille is going to test the dessert. But something goes wrong all of a sudden. Is that smoke coming out of the oven? Or has the kitchen been invaded by magic? Brave cooks arm themselves with sanitizers against evil spirits. Who's trying to rule our kitchen? Mademoiselle Ratatouille faces her fears. Don't worry, it's just Miss Jeannie. She wants to know who came up with this variety of doll wigs. It's Jessica. She's the chef here. There is no place for Mademoiselle Ratatouille in this culinary discussion. But that's okay, I'll leave. You eat all the candies. Miss Jeannie decides to compete with Jessica. Whose doll accessory will be more fashionable and delicious? Melt chewy candies in a microwave. Add food coloring. Divide the mass into two parts. Shape boots on doll's feet. Even out the edges with a utility knife. Shape the boot legs so that it looks like cowboy boots. Use a modeling tool to make a heel. Press in little hollows on the front part of the shoes. Fill them with edible glue. And insert sugar beads. Press in hollows at the toe caps. Attach sugar hearts. Make cuts at the back so that you can take them off. Miss Jeannie presents her sweet boots. Now that's what we call a fashionable dessert. It's the first time Jessica has ever tried something like this. How awesome is that? But her idea is just as good. I bet Miss Jeannie has never seen a sweet handbag before. Melt chewy candies in a microwave. Color them pink. Shape a block that narrows down to the top. Make a hollow with a modeling tool. This is the middle of the bag. Color some more melted candies with yellow food coloring. Divide the mass into two parts. Shape one part to make a handbag strap. Cut a flap from the other part. Attach the details with edible glue. This accessory is so amazing! A doll handbag has never been more delicious before! Miss Jeannie is ready to swap her boots for this sweet handbag! Jessica is creating a new doll food masterpiece! It's a sweet bow hair clip! Shape a bow from pink fondant. Even out the edges with a round modeling tool. Fasten the sugar heart to the center with edible glue and attach the bow to a decorative clothespin. Miss Jeannie just can't hold back her curiosity. This thing is just so cute. I bet it won't compare to an edible Barbie hat. Shape foil into a hat and cover it with vegetable oil. Stretch out three and a half ounces of yeast dough into a thin layer and cover the foil hat with it. Bake it for 10 minutes at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Add lemon juice to powdered sugar. Mix glaze. Color it and put it into Ziploc bags. Cut off a corner and coat the baked hat with glaze. Make polka dots with blue glaze and outline the brim with it. 
This collection of hats for our dolls is just finger-licking good. But Mademoiselle Ratatouille is not satisfied with all this. Why is there such a mess in the kitchen? And why is there a strange being of a strange blue color? Hold back your charm, Mademoiselle Ratatouille, and try out our new Barbie hat desserts. They say that its taste is breathtaking. Did you like our delicious Barbie clothing ideas? Then write in the comments what sweet accessory you will cook for your doll. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new doll ideas on Troom Troom.